Hi everyone and welcome to another video with me, David Hoy, Technical Strategy Director at Profusion and today I'm going to be talking about web apps and landing pages in Adobe Campaign. We'll be covering off uh, what they are and the different types, typical use cases, how they differ between Adobe Campaign Classic and Adobe Campaign Standard, the benefits of building them in Adobe Campaign and then we're going to round off by jumping into the application to give you a feel for how they're built and the skills you need. So what are web apps? They are dynamic and interactive web pages that allow you to extend your marketing campaigns onto the web. They allow you to use data from the Adobe Campaign database in order to personalize the experience for your customers. And then there are data capture options that allow you to enrich your database by allowing your customers to interact um, so you can uh, gather more information about your existing customers or even acquire new data through sign up forms. More specifically, web apps can be used to create surveys, la campaign landing pages, uh, subscription forms where recipients can subscribe to services, sign up forms uh, where you can acquire new data, update data forms where you can uh, gather more information about your existing customers or unsubscribe and uh, preference management, uh, which can be written back to the Adobe Campaign database. There are some differences uh, between Adobe Campaign Classic and Adobe Campaign Standard in terms of what's available to you. So in Adobe Campaign Classic, uh, they're known as web apps and web app really covers the term for um, the different types of, of, of web application uh, that's available. Um, but the main difference really is that a uh, survey manager module is, is available um, and this allows you to build um, customer feedback surveys um, with a very flexible um, way to collect and store the answers uh, per survey. Uh, it's much more flexible um, in, in the data storage options in that you can create custom schemas and web apps can, can write the data back to those schemas. Um, you also have lots of flexibility where web apps can be multi-page applications and they can be very behavioral where they respond differently based on earlier uh, data collection. Um, and also you have the ability to, to sort of use HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Um, and this gives you the ability to um, really customize them um, and give a really broad range of, of use cases. Um, ACS is, is, is a little bit different. It's um, uh, the terminology uh, is landing pages um, and you're restricted to uh, only profile data. So you're still able to sort of collect new profiles or, or gather more information about existing profiles, um, but you don't have quite so many options uh, as I've mentioned in, in Campaign Classic. You're limited to, to three pages, which is a, a landing page, a confirmation page and a narrow page. And uh, there's no room for kind of custom JavaScript for that sort of custom um, customization like I mentioned is, is possible in Classic. So what are the benefits of web apps? Uh, firstly, they are hosted on the Adobe Campaign server, uh, which means obviously you don't have uh, the requirement of uh, a different hosting solution. And also it uses the brand domain um, that is used for, for your email. So it very much feels on brand and not a, a kind of separate uh, solution. Uh, data can be stored and captured within the Adobe Campaign database, which is great because it means that not only have you not got a need for a separate database solution, but any of data that's captured for a web app is written back into the Adobe Campaign database in real time. And then that can be used for any follow up activities, you know, marking them instantly as uh, subscribe to a service or triggering an email. Um, and any data that you capture is then sitting there in the database for, for any future uh, sort of marketing activities as well. Um, they can be used to easily extend uh, your email campaigns onto the web and that can uh, be really useful um, in terms of there can be quicker development time rather than having to create you know pages on your on your public website um, and also you can personalize uh, the experience using any data from the Adobe campaign database really easily. Um, you can also drive people to your web apps uh, anonymously from, from other channels. Um, 
and you know web apps can really help um, expand and make your customer journeys more sophisticated it really opens up doors for increased interaction and data capture um, through those sort of automated lifecycle journeys um, and finally you know full stack developer skills are, are not required to create these um, especially if you go down the sort of template route um, you can create web app and landing page templates which can then be very easily modified for campaign by campaign use um, as I did mention though if you really want to kind of um, explore uh, the possibilities that web apps have then some uh, developer skills can come in uh, useful so I've just jumped into the Adobe campaign classic console uh, just to uh, give you a flavor for the uh, web apps interface and how they're built so as you can see it's a workflow type interface um, where you have activities over on the left hand side and you're able to drag these in um, as I mentioned before, you're able to create uh, multi-page applications and that's done just by kind of stacking up these page activities. Um, you do have the uh, test activity as well and this allows you to kind of create conditional logic um, and send uh, users off in different directions and this can be based on uh, either their recipient kind of profile data or it can be uh, based on the information that they've given on previous pages within the web app. Um, there's two main different types of pages available in uh, web applications. So you have uh, this uh, V5 compatibility type page, and this is particularly good for when building surveys. Um, and this is because it's uh, really strong on um, kind of creating the uh, form elements of a page um, and allowing you to define the data capture side all with kind of point and click and you can create custom storage for each um, survey that you build um, it is a little bit more restricted on the uh, kind of um, design uh, side and you're a little bit more restricted on uh, the kind of html we can code yourself um, the other type of page activity is a lot more flexible from this point of view. So um, you're able to hand code the entire document if you wish, um, but it does require a little bit more HTML or CSS proficiency. Um, this can, however, be kind of templated um, by creating content templates and that can act as a starting point, uh, which you can then kind of make minor kind of HTML uh, tweaks to each time, or you can use uh, the sort of built-in editor that's available um, when when uh, customizing those pages from web app to web app. Um, there are a few things that can help you template. You can create whole web app templates and within the properties section, uh, you can create kind of headers and footers that are applied across the web app. Um, or you can uh, have a form rendering template which allows you to create um, a single kind of CSS sheet, which is again applied across uh, all the pages of, of the web app. Um, you can also uh, introduce your own kind of JavaScript for increased um, kind of interactivity or, or custom functions. These can apl be applied in pages or um, uh, applied kind of in between pages using the script activity. And this really gives you a lot of flexibility. You can use it to manipulate the context data um, as your recipients pass through uh, to create different experiences. Um, this could be stuff like creating kind of form validation or error handling, or it can help you with your kind of um, onward conditional logic as, as people pass through the web app. Um, you can also make use of Adobe Campaign Classic's API methods. So this can be really useful to kind of query data from the Adobe Campaign database and, and display that in your web apps. Um, it can allow you to kind of write data back in a in a more um, kind of customized way or even kind of trigger emails off the back of, um, you know, a, a form submission. And all these things kind of working together allow you to expand the capabilities, what's possible and the use cases beyond the more kind of simple and common examples. Uh, that's it from me today. Hopefully you found it interesting um, and giving you a little flavor in, into web applications. I encourage you to explore the subject further and if you'd like any more uh, support on the subject or any other area of Adobe campaign, please do get in touch.